Oh, hey, didn't see you there. Got a good one today. Today we're celebrating our rich cultural history. That's right. Today we're talking about white power ranger action figures, and I can't wait. So without further ado, it's Corsian's fin time. Welcome to Corzeons! Woo! Yes! Now, I always thought Power Rangers was stupid and kind of lame. But, as a lame-o myself, I loved it! Of course, it was utter nonsense. The stories and characters didn't really make any sense, and they don't stick with you in any really way. In any real way. But, I always thought the Zords were kind of cool, and the fighting was dumb and fun, and... I mean, putties are cute, right? So here is all that remains of my Power Rangers collection. I still have a few others, you know, like the main team, but the big ones, they're shiny. I think they're from the movie. Uh, I think I have an enemy or two. And I have, I had a bunch of Zords, but I don't have them anymore. Today we'll be talking about more recent Power Ranger figures, specifically more recent releases of the White Power Ranger action figures. Now, my editor says that the way I say that is problematic. I don't hear it. Now, on to the Power Rangers. Woo! Yes, it's time. The White Power Ranger is my favorite. Uh, I liked that he was bad, then good, and his zords were cool, and he banged the pink one, and uh, he was handsome, etc. Oh, before I forget, any subscribers? Remember, remember the Corazion's promise. You guys remember, right? Mm hmm Any new subscribers will receive the COVID-19 vaccine. <coughs> I, well, I guess I'll have to burn the house down. First up, the Bandai SH Figure Arts White Power Ranger. Now this guy was pretty expensive, and in my opinion, too expensive for what you get. But, it's a pretty banging ranger. It looks spot on to the crappy dub show. The sculpt and painting makes it look like a clean, tight spandex costume, and that's perfect for the TV show. Tommy comes with his inanimate best friend slash lover, Saba. I forgot exactly the point of Saba being sentient. He seemed to have a brain. I don't know what that was for. Anyway, it definitely looks cool, and the detail is great. Why is this so slimy? The posability on this guy is outstanding. Sure, not everything gets as many rotates as maybe you want to, but you can get him into any pretty much any human pose, and uh, that works for me. The head spins around and bends. The neck does the same. His lovely shoulder pads lift up. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Shit. Wow, folks, I seem to have a habit of breaking things on my show. That is actually broken off. And remember me saying that this was expensive? It was expensive. So I'll have to glue it on weirdly, but the rest of this video is going to be broken. Can I talk about his shoulder? Yeah, you'll let me? Good. Anyway, the shoulder pads lift up to allow for more shoulder movement. And check out this shoulder joint. There is a lot of movement in there. It rotates, it bends, it does everything. And then there's a ball in there. To get even more movement. That's really good. Double joints at the elbows, a nice wrist rotate, and a nice wrist bend. There's a torso rotate. I think even the hip rotates uh, independently too. He's got a little lasso for Saba here. His legs go up and down and a big spread for kicking. Yeah! There's no thigh rotate, but like I said, there's a good rotate at the hip. So you can get pretty much any human pose out of him. Uh, let's see. There's no, again, there's no rotate at the knee either, but there is a double, but there is a double joint there. And there's a nice sideways pivot at the foot. And the foot rotates too. And there's even a toe bend. The toe, the foot also goes up and down. Even though he's missing some articulation, he can move pretty much any way. So my biggest complaint is not really complaint at all. However, my newest complaint is that it's a little fragile. 
I barely moved I barely moved the shoulder thing and it snapped right off. I've had this for a couple years and uh, wow, I'm disappointed. All in all, aside from being broken, this thing is awesome and it looks like it just stepped right out of the TV. Please don't hurt me. Still too expensive though. Oh, and I've been informed by myself that this holster is not for Saba because Saba cannot fit in it. I think it's for one of those Ranger laser guns that they had. Uh, I don't remember if the figure came with one though? Next up, Power Rangers Legacy Mighty Morphin White Power Ranger. Now this one looks a little bit different because it's actually, I think it's based on the movie sculpt. The original movie was pretty cool, um, and I always really liked the costume design on it. Do you remember his movie Falcon Zord? Cause I do! Yeah. Date me. It's obvious that this is the cheapest one. It kind of looks weird. It's not that great looking. I've always really liked the movie costume, so I bought it. And the first movie was actually pretty good. They replaced the big crappy men in costumes with big crappy terrible CGI and miniatures. Somehow the CGI was still better than the men in costumes. The Ranger designs was, were more superhero-y without being Transformers goo like the reboot movie. Anyway, I always like the design and this figure does a really good job representing it. Now, the only thing I can really notice right off the bat is it kind of looks stubby. He kind of looks beep. The paint seems good and this was a wide release Toys R Us exclusive. So uh, I think it'd be a little more forgiving in terms of posability and quality. Let's see what he can do. He's got a head rotation. It can bend up and down a little bit. Nothing on the neck. Now these shoulder pads actually rotate with the shoulder and there's not a big, huge amount of shoulder movement and there's no rotate there at the bicep. Um, no rotate at the elbow either. It's a single joint. And the wrist spins and there's a teeny bend in there. Oops. There's no waist movement at all, or chest. What? He can hold Saba, which again, it looks like Saba got way bigger in comparison to the figure for this one. But the paint is good and he looks great. On this one, Saba actually sticks in the hole on his side. Ball joint at the hips. Can do a really nice split. Single joint at the knee. And there's actually a calf rotate too, which... I don't think, no, there's nothing like that up top. Um, not only does the calf rotate, oop, I am wrong. The foot does not rotate, <laughs> but it does bend a little bit. Overall, nice design, looks like the movie, but kind of disappointing. I need more joints, baby! And lastly, we have the first Hasbro Lightning Collection White Power Ranger figure. Yes? As suspected, Hasbro has decided to Hasbro these up. It's got that weird kind of soft feeling plastic that they use on their high-end figures, like the Star Wars Black Collection. Um, I can see that it's supposed to like look nice, but I don't like it. I think it's not aesthetically pleasing. He looks like the White Power Ranger enough, but also kind of like a crappy Stormtrooper at the same time. They made his costume kind of loose, with fabric bunches all over. He kind of looks like... Uh, original Captain Captain America movie costume. I don't know, the, pr the proportions are good, the paint's good, the sculpt is good, it just, something seems weird about it, I don't know. But, the good news is, this guy's got poses out the putty. Starting at the crotch, middle out, baby! No waist swivel, what? But, the top half of the chest moves, and he's got a crunch joint there too, so I think that more than takes care of it. There's a ball joint at the hips, the thighs actually rotate! A double joint at the knee, woo! And a calf rotate too! Now the uh, the foot movement is kind of weird. It doesn't really seem to go back and forth, but there's a huge, ah! 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 <coughs> There's a huge ankle movement. I can get this foot to move back and forth a little bit. A little bit. That's about it. Let's see. Let's look at the arms. The shoulder is a good movement. Now, on this one, the, ve the vest shoulder pads thing is made of soft goo, so it can actually bend a little bit. 
And this actually seems more in line with the show. It was always seemed like a crappy piece of fabric that he was wearing. So there's a shoulder ball. There's a bicep rotate. Another double hinge at the elbow. I'll get you. I'll get you good. And uh, no other rotate there, but there is the wrist bend. Woo! Woo! And looking at the top, he's kind of missing a bit of a neck, but the head swivels, goes all the way around, and goes up and down pretty well. And of course he has Saba. Can't go anywhere without Saba. So it's better in posability in some places in the SH figure arts, and then worse in other places. Still, just something seems crappy about it. It's my least favorite of them. Although, since the one broke, I'm beginning to rethink my position. Here they are next to each other in my order of preference, from least to most. That's kind of backwards on camera, huh? Eh. Now a high-end, like, six scale from Hot Toys or something? That would be really cool. Make it happen, folks! So you've heard my opinion, but what does my exclusive dog review system have to say? He can't decide! He just wants to morph! Uh, I don't know about you, but after a long day like today, I could really go for a slice of za. Am I right? Am I right? Am I right? Okay, look. There's some right here. We are truly blessed. Today's pizza is from one of my favorites. Pasquale's! Woo! One of my favorite places ever. pizza have been consumed by bugs, thus polishing my metallic innards. I am charged and rebooted. I am Corbett, the robot. I send this video from future times. Sanity is destroyed. All that remains is flame and robots. I have been reprogrammed from Finger Killbot by my creator to send you this message. He is come a having. He is the last human. Together we have created a time machine to scream this message to the past. I will not delve into how this time machine works. You must prevent humanity dooming. As you can see, this is a live video of Canal Side Buffalo. It is a fire as shit and decidedly unradical. I was rebooting for several years. You have only hours to act before doom. There is no time to waste. Ding! Ah! The Torgulator has ceased. Ah, the Torgulator. It calls upon my megabytes like a moth to the siren. The Pete's Morgulator takes ancient pizza DNA from ancient actors and recreates the cow sauce bread in record days. Whoa! It has deemed today's pizza is from Pasquale eggs. It has been cooked at a high temperature, causing the cheese to go by. Let us dig in bed. No, wait. This caused regicide in previous episode. I mustn't succumb. Oh, but my bits want to be in those bits. Mm. Mm. This is, is real steel. <coughs> Backwards. Ha 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 ha. The grease is giving my face a pubescent glow, and I like that it is a triangle. <coughs> Such cruel future. Oh, to be functioning when Pesquale Eggs was ruler of kingdom. I'll be loving the dripping. Mastication over. Mouth clear of dough. Oh no. I create or I'm finger killed by G. <laughs> to save the world, you must. You, 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 you. Uh. Also, I agree with Corbett. 
The Squales is amazing. It's got good thickness, good cheese, good sauce to cheese ratio, good grease, goodness, yum. It's time to say goodbye again, folks. We did it once again. And if you like what you see, please consider donating to my Patreon and certainly subscribing to my YouTube channel. There's just one thing I have to take care of. Yep, it's time to say goodbye. Well, I had a great time with you. And, well, adios. <laughs> Huh? Huh? See ya! <laughs> hey guys! No time for a nap! Lord Zed is up to no good! It's true! Ha, <laughs> you napping Nellies! You're gonna be in so much trouble! Hey, Zordon! Yeah, Toms, what's up? These jokesters over here are taking a nap instead of fighting Lord Zed. How silly! Ha 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 